Hello. In this generation, one of the main situation that causes confusion between us is nothing much but migration. And sometimes we forget the whole story behind it that it causes division between us. And today I would like to tell you a story. See, there were survivors, like an abandoned child who had no father. They moved around like a phone with no power, looking for a charger to connect and bring the family together. As a child, I couldn't understand this. Like, is this how the world is or that's how life is? I guess so. See, at the age of five was when my parents left. Like birds flying around to find a new nest. I have to confess, the place they lived in was good but was still a mess. I was like, Mama, why would you leave? And Papa, why would you leave? You knew this was one of my biggest fears. So I cried every day, looking through the gate to hear their voices and their footsteps again. Selfishness. I was blinded by my own needs and forgot that everything they were doing was because of me. But I had a dream. See, just like Martin Luther, I had a dream. That one day I was going to move to a nation that was going to change me. And 2007 was when they flew me in. To a nation that I've never been. So confused I could never think. With racism hovering around me, choking, I could never breathe. in the world that was supposed to change me. But it did. It changed me for the better. From a boy to a man. And now look at who I am. See, I remember mama and papa used to ask me, Kelvin, do you believe you can fly? Because we do. Like this world you're living in was built for you. And your dreams are so big and we can see it through you. So you better pick yourself up. Never take a shortcut. If you do that, we might see with the shotgun. Pow, pow, pow. Man down. What you gonna do? Your life is over. Your time is over. The curtains are closed and you can never go back. So move to the top, fight to the top, look to the top, and we'll always be right behind your back. Migration. See, when it comes to migration, for a nation to be a great nation, it needs to be ready to accept change and ready to accept people from different culture. And back home in Ghana, my mama would call me on the phone and at the back of the phone I could hear my brothers and sisters laughing and part of me wanted to be there with them but I couldn't. But eventually they brought me in and now I stand here telling you my story. See, when I came people used to ask me, Kelvin, Ghana or Ireland? Which one do you like best? I was like, Ghana is where my childhood home is. In Ireland, that's why I became who I am. So when it comes to migration, it's better to know people's story before we talk about them. And today, as I stand here, I don't just speak for myself. I speak for all the people that are trying to make a change for themselves. People in Syria, Palestine, and Ethiopia, South Sudan, Somalia. Africa, Asia, all people around the world. So I repeat, when it comes to migration, it's better to know people's story before we talk about them.